All right, guys, I am back. And funny story is I was going through the list of um, what videos came next and the most viewed ones. And I thought it was this one, but it was a different year. So anyways, um, but I love this pocket and it's super simple to make. Um, just to give you an idea, um, there's a pocket here, a pocket here, a pocket here, and then a little tiny one here in the front. And then you can either make them side tucks or you could do like a long one or you could add a hinge, um, kind of make it a flip out to where it could be journaled on here. Um, this is a very versatile type pocket. And then like I said, like you could actually add some lace here and make it a flip, whatever. The, in, the possibilities are endless with this pocket. So let's get started on this one. Um, I'm hoping that it doesn't end up... Um, because I haven't looked past like the top 10 of those. So <laughs> I'm kind of hoping it doesn't like bite me in the keister later um, for content. If it does, we'll just make them again. <laughs> and maybe this time I'll do the exact one. Um, so in that particular video, I did seven and a half by 12 inch paper. This one, however, um, is I took just it, this one's cardstock, so they are a little bit more difficult than just using a little bit heavier paper. Um, but that's okay. Um, they're like I said, they're still pretty easy to make. So it's seven and a half by eleven. Um, so I'm just gonna score each one of these um, at two and a half, and yeah, we'll just mass produce this one, and then if we have time, we will do. Um, now, I don't think we're going to end up doing tags. This will just kind of be, well, I might decorate just a little bit because I do know kind of how I want to use these. So, that said, um, yeah, anywho. So, in the original video, I um, was trying to make it pretty simple for everybody. Um, so, I didn't do it the way I'm going to do it now. Um, in that original video, I had you fold from here to here, um, which is kind of difficult with cardstock. And when I, when, and if that, that video is like in the lineup of next viewed, um, I will do that. But since this is cardstock, I am just going to, uh, um, do my exacto knife, just line it up the best I can. And well, that's interesting. Oh, there it is. I was like, I set it aside, but I can't figure out where. So anyways, I'm just going to cut it down here like so. And I do save these because I actually had an interesting thought for these. So um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of go this direction so you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm going to end up... Um, inking both sides so it's easier to see. Um, like I said, it's a pretty easy pocket, but since it's cream, filming, that sort of thing. Okay, so this one's gonna go in this direction. So now what I wanna do is hold this one back in on itself, um, trying to line up as best you can, um, getting it right to the edge, and you could score again if you want. Um, though it didn't make that much of a difference for me. Um, if it was off, it was going to be off. Does that make any sense? <laughs> um, and we might not be able to get it completely even either. And they are a tad bit fiddly. And, and I'll show you how we'll clean it up if, if in fact we can't really get it lined up. That's probably pretty good. Okay. And then we're going to fold this one in this direction. Like so. this little piece back in this direction, like so. OK, 
Okay. So, and since I already inked down those straight lines, I don't really need to go back in through the pocket, right? So, now what I do is I just open it, open one layer, and we're going to take the glue. And um, I like to go the side of the pocket um, so that I don't have to guess on the height on the other side. Like so. Bring that one in. Okay, hold that one this direction. Glue on the pocket side. Like so. Hold it back in. Bring this one this direction. Apply your glue here and here. Okay. And then you just pop that little one up and you're just going to catch that edge right there and then fold it back in. And then when we're done, we have this and then we'll just take and go around with our ink around the edges like so. Catching all those edges, and voila. Okay, so that is two. Let's go ahead and get these guys burnished. I have recorded so many videos already today, guys. <laughs> I'm I'm kind of excited. I think you guys, um, in the last video, I said I wanted to get like a couple weeks ahead and I'm not anywhere close to that just yet, but, um, it's working on it because today is the 28th. So I think I have enough for the end to the end of the week, but we'll see. And then hopefully Christian and I tonight will get two or three more of the challenge filmed. Okay, so again, I'm just gonna take and ink both sides, one for camera and two, if you do it ahead of time, then you don't have to fight it. And it, in my opinion, takes far less time. You know what happened this morning? I just have to vent a little bit. Because <laughs> it's still like, kind of like eating at me a little bit. So I'm a part of this um, divorce group on Facebook. And it's, for the most part, it's usually pretty, pretty good. Um, as far as like support, you know, if you need something or have questions or, you know, you're just starting the process. Most of the women in there are pretty... Uh, it's an all women's group, all women over 40, that sort of thing. So like I said, for the most part, it's pretty, pretty supportive. And the admins do a really great job of um, keeping everybody nice and that sort of thing. This lady was bound and determined to pick a fight with me in the comments. And all they, this lady asked about, she was going to have her boyfriend move in soon. And was wondering how she should best protect herself you know, in the event that things don't work out. And so I just said, you know, draw up an agreement, you know, more or less like a, a rental agreement and then have it notarized. And this lady was like bound and determined that notary wasn't legal. And I was like, I, I didn't ever say it was legal, like a legal document. What I said is get it notarized with all your details in it. <laughs> like I was like, I anyways, so she just like, and she totally proved my point, right? Like I was like, I didn't say it was a legal document. But having a notarized agreement, if you do, in fact, have to evict them and they try to come back and say, oh, you know, so and so never said this. I'd be like, mm, yes, I did, because you even signed this and we even had it notarized. Right. Um, so that's kind of the point I was making. And yeah, she wouldn't let it go. I was like, OK, whatever. Like you, you do you, sweetheart. <laughs> I just that's one thing I won't do is I'm not going to I'm not going to you just really sometimes can't make people happy, right? Like, 
when they're bound and determined that they're right, but they, they don't realize they're proving you're they're proving your point for you. Yeah. So I just left the discussion. I was like, whatever. <laughs> I mean, because she's not wrong. No, it doesn't make the document legal or whatever. But, I mean, it does help if you were to have to, you know, in, in theory, sue somebody in small claims court. I mean, you would have to, you'd have to prove that you had that agreement in the first place. And so while, you know, you get what I'm saying. But, yeah, no sense in your arguing. All right, thanks for letting me vent about that. Anyways, okay, there we go. There's three. And um, let's get the fourth one done. And then I want to, I do want to do hinges on this one. So, so we'll do the basics because the decorating part will come once we put it in the journal. I got to thinking, you know, I haven't done any like top tucks in a journal and gosh, I don't even know how long. I used to love those. Like we could make banners and stuff like that for like top tucks, but I think wouldn't that be fun? Like I said, I haven't done that in a while and we need 18 pockets for these journals. So, you know, Just a tad, but that's okay. Like I said, um, once you put your ink on, there's not not really too much difference in there. Boy, I think I let that upset me far more than I should have. So, okay. I just, you know what? I really do like these little pockets. I think they're really cool. And they look really cool in a journal. That's what I'm trying to achieve is pretty much all really cool not, I won't say original, but, you know, ones we haven't seen in a while. Um, the next one, the next video I film is going to be the, the uh, next video in that series for um, the most viewed videos. Because I want to get, again, a couple of weeks ahead of that one, too. Um, so, yeah. See what I mean? Like, it, even if you're off just a little bit, I mean, I don't know if you can even tell, but I'm off just a, just a hair there. It's really actually not going to matter in the scheme of things. So. so we'll hinge one for sure. Okay, so since we're going to hinge it, I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, and my nose is running. All right, for the sniffles, guys. Okay, so let's see. I've got a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of scraps. So there's these. I obviously don't want it to be that wide, so. my 
squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. I think I'm just gonna rip this in half and we'll call that good on our hinges. Yeah, it's like an inch and a half, so we'll, we'll just do right about what I think might be half. It might be off just a little bit, but okay. And I did start doing these kind of a new way, and I kind of like it. Sometimes you get it all lined up and it's all perfect and all that jazz, but on occasion you don't. Oh, no, I don't want to do that this way because I'm not taking, I'm not putting it right into a journal. Okay. Anyways, forget what I just said. All of it. <laughs> forget the whole thing. Um, so, oh, excuse my reach, guys. glue flakes off my fingers. Okay, so I want it on this side. So I'm going to put it that way. You could also do this with washi tape too. Now that I think about it, isn't a bad idea. I'll clean all those up off camera. It really is just like the goo from my fingers. Yeah, they'll come right off. Okay. And then if you're just a tad long, just take your scissors and just trim it right off. Like so. Okay. There's one hinged. Okay, so I put it on that side. My goodness, look at all this stuff I've got open. And I'll regret having it open in like two minutes. Okay, two more guys. Let's see. Let's do the seven and a half again. Four, five, six, seven and a half. So right in here. I'm pretty sure this is three. Yep, so we'll do. Say, I am kind of having fun going down memory lane doing those videos. I think it's a good refresher, right? Like, because I think sometimes we create so much we forget some of our favorites. I definitely forgot about this pocket. <laughs>
Okay, one more and we have this video done. Holy cow. I'm actually really enjoying this whole journal process with this um, Alice in Wonderland. Not gonna lie, it's pretty darn cool. My watch is telling me, stand up, Goober. It's time to stand up. Alrighty. Oh, on that end right there. All right check that out isn't that super cute yeah oh i like them yes yes all right guys um i will just talk to you in the next video bye